All right. So a lot of people have asked our process as far as supplements and invoice. Um, this is a process that's built for our company, but then obviously um, we mold the software around it. So <clears throat> here's how it works. From our trackers, we have our client status trackers. This is basically wherever the clients are. So whether they just submitted the job, if they're in customer status, this is basically our review bucket for anything that's just submitted. So once they go through these um, and approve them, they stay over here from in customer status. The project manager grabs, the production manager, I'm sorry, grabs it from customer, moves it into production, which is where it goes through all the trade boards on the production system. Once they're ready to be marked built, he comes in here, checks them, checks into the job file, make sure everything's good, clicks that green button right there, and they go into built. Now here's what everybody's asking is, how do you do your supplements and your invoicing? So from this report, this is actually a much bigger report. So our supplement managers live in this report. They have this on their own screen, and this is basically where they live. So there's 69 clients right now that we have to supplement an invoice. So they would come down here and grab a job. Um, let's just find one here. I know there's one I worked on earlier when I was getting this set up. Let's see if I can find it for you guys. Okay, let's grab this guy. So this file right here, the supplement manager would then come in. This, this status right here means all the trades have been complete uh, and it's ready to supplement an invoice. So he would first go in here, if there's any ice and water shield, uh, our office manager has downloaded the Eagle View XML. The predominant pitch is in here. Our soffit width is, import, is imported through our uh, inspection app and questions. And then we create our ice shield diagram here. This creates a nice little diagram, basically with all the backwards math of exactly the square footage that's needed on this roof. Okay, gives them a nice little diagram with all the measurements and all that good stuff. So he'll first print out that. He'll then go through all of his pictures and print out what he needs from our inspection app and all the pictures that the rep takes and uploads. He'll print out each one that he may need for a supplement packet. Okay. He'll then create his estimate in Xactimate, is what we use for our estimates. Now let's see if I can find it where he created it, if he created it. Let's see. Well, he hasn't created it yet, obviously, because it's still built, so he hasn't done this one yet, obviously. So he would create an estimate uh, with the difference in supplements. Uh, he would print out those pictures, uh, print out any Eagle View that he may need, and then he would come into here and he would come into the supplement overall. He would update any notes that he needs. So he would $7,900 supplement here. Um, all the things he supplemented for, how much was, of it was roof, how much it was siding, how much it was gutters, any notes that he had to need to put in there, which supplement manager it was. We then create his supplement cover letter. which has all the adjuster information into it, who we're sending it over from, which one of our supplement managers, uh, who the insured is, claim number, all that good stuff, any notes you need to put in and a breakdown of the supplement. So he covers this on top of the estimate, photos, and the ice and water shield diagram, sends it over, and then he comes into the supplement tracker, And he would grab it from here now. And if, if it needed any information from the rep, he would, he would move it over to this status. But he would grab it from here. Uh, let's see if I can find it. There's a bunch of them in here. Well, let's just, let's just find one here. Here it is. So he would grab it from here. And he would mark it pending, meaning that he faxed it over there, emailed it over. So now it goes into the pending category. When it goes into the pending category, the sales rep automatically gets an email. 
know, generated email that says we sent your supplement over. Here's what the amount is, um, just so that they're aware. So if their client calls, um, once the supplement manager um, gets a call and they negotiate the supplement, he then goes into this client. Okay. He goes into the invoice, which is the breakdown of the job. He edits the invoice. I'm doing this for my home guys. My Wi-Fi is a little slow here, so. So he would come in here and he would say, you know, he would break it down obviously, but let's just say he did the $7,900 supplement. He would then save and close it. Okay. And then our general manager would get a, or sales manager would get an email that says that this invoice revision has been made and he would approve it. He goes on his list of approvals. He approves it and then it goes off to our, our tracker that our, um, all this stuff happens simultaneously guys. Everybody lives in a different spot, but our C CFO lives in this little spot here for needs approval. And these are the job invoice revisions that he sees. He double checks them and then he moves them over to approved and he updates our QuickBooks. So that all kind of happens in the background. Now, at the same time, we would then take this job after it's negotiated and the invoice is updated, moves it to approved and then moves into this category. Okay. Once all that's done and he knows that all these are done, he grabs that job right here. Okay. Comes into the client home. It's next steps. He emailed and faxed to the insurance company, negotiated it. The job now moves to invoice. And under the client, tra client trackers again. This job now shows up in this category here. This is all of our jobs that basically break down our AR. Once it goes to invoice, the homeowner gets an email. The salesman gets an email. The manager gets an email. And the rep is then ready to follow up. So right now we have a lot of AR, but we've sold about 22 million this year. So there's 214 clients to collect. Once it hits this status here, the back end is done with it and the sales reps pick it back up and they have to get their AR collected. So that's how we run it. Any questions, message below.